everyone. Welcome to tonight's recap of Hell's Kitchen. Last time, Autumn and Scott were told, yo, switch teams. Because you don't get along with your own team. So yeah. we're going to try you out on a different team, see who the real problem is. All right, so let's start with the first challenge of the episode. The sous chefs brought out butcher outfits for everyone. And, and I was we... getting nervous because they too. took them out to like this pig pen and then all the little cute baby pigs were running around. And, and Ramsey sharpening his knives. That's not cool. He was like, don't worry, we're not butchering pigs today. They still cook them. <laughs> all right, so... They had to catch the pigs, and they had ingredients on the collar, and they had to cook three dishes. They had 45 minutes to do it. They had to pair up the ingredients. They had to get six pigs per team. So the ladies uh, ended up with blood sausage and prunes as one of their, as one of their dishes. What the hell were they thinking? Versus the men's pork chop with the bok choy. You know what won. The men's got that one. Mm -hmm. Then the pork tenderloin with apple for the ladies won over the honey bacon and slaw because they should have made honey mustard exactly it's too sweet autumn was right jason was wrong then the tiebreaker was the ham hock and sweet potato for the ladies it, it which, was a soup yeah maria made it into a soup and duh ham was supposed to be the main ingredient and the men had a loin chop with beans so they kind of won by default even though it was probably better anyway the men win. It's a Again. spa day. Yes, but it's like at this mud spa. And then the ladies' uh, punishment was they had to wash the pigs. Aww. So the whole juxtaposition between washing the pigs and the pigs in the mud at the spa was pretty funny, I have to say. So Salvatore is the Italian Dr. Yes. Phil. The dirty Dr. Phil. We find out that Holly likes porn. And she has a big some. collection. Yeah. It's not only other people, it's her too in it, in her collection. And Siobhan, well, she was a dominatrix. <sighs> I don't want to know. I don't want to know. What is wrong with these misfits and dope addicts? I don't know. But it's barbecue night at Hell's Kitchen for service. Milka thought she was going to get a jump on everything by pre-frying the chicken. I'm so upset. Why the hell would you do that? It's going to be gross by the time you have to serve it. It's going to be all soggy. That's so stupid. Uh, <laughs> it's overbooked. Everyone loves barbecue because it's barbecue night. And it's a double seating, which means one team is going to be cooking for two hours while the other team serves for them. And then vice versa. Thank you. So the ladies team went first and they were really falling apart. Uh, Fran kind of saved their asses, though, with her apps. Yeah. She was pumping them out like crazy. But the whole time. Like the jerseys. Autumn was trying to sabotage the red team because she was like, oh, do you like how it's cooked? Do you want me to bring it back? Oh, I can bring, I can it, bring back, it back, no problem. Why don't you just send it back? Yeah. That was a real bitch move. It was. And they had some real trouble cooking the burgers right. In fact, Siobhan, uh, she tried to pass through some Kobe beef burgers and Ramsey, like, mashed them to they death. They were raw. Yeah. All right, so now it's the men's turn, and Jay was rocking out the appetizers. <laughs> And Holly and Maria, well, they weren't trying to sabotage. They're just They're stupid. Just messed up. <laughs> they got the orders wrong because they double ordered a table. Yeah. And Maria really effed up an order. It was supposed to be shrimp, and she wrote down dates. I mean, that is a similar. big mistake. Then Jason, what do you think this is? McDon Even McDonald's doesn't put the chicken in with the fries for crying out loud. What yeah. the hell? So. Ramsey declared it to be the worst service ever. Uh, obviously, the red team that. loses. <laughs> well, this season. Uh -huh. So the red team lost, and Fran was the best of the worst. So she got to nominate, too. But she screwed that up, too. Fran, Fran, Fran. She got Maria right, but then she's like, I don't know, Nilka? What? Uh, Ramsey's no. like, no, Scott. Uh, yeah. Come on. So Maria ended up being out because she is freaking off the wall insane. There's no way in hell that she could even open the door at the Savoy. So, all right. So it's part two, you know, the second hour. Nilk is pissed, just like Jason was pissed I last time too. when they nominated him. They didn't give her any warning, and she didn't deserve to be nominated. She didn't deserve it anyhow. So it's challenge time. This time, it's mother sauces. <laughs> I had never heard this before, but whatever. They had to do five dishes featuring the five mother sauces, they which is like velouté, tomato. Be uh, Why are you talking like <laughs> that? I don't know. 
Anyway, you get the idea. So they had, you, like you said, 30 minutes. But the twist was they only had 20 ingredients that they had to use. Yep. And they had to use all of them once. No repeats. So the judges were Ramsey's wife and mother. He's really trotting out the family this season. Especially the wife. She's probably like, yo, you got a show. Put me on it. So, we Salvatore. Rumors. Yes. <laughs> Arrivederci, you messed up the friggin' pasta. How can you be Italian and not even know how to cook pasta correctly? (laughs) I mean, come on, a five-year-old could do it. Siobhan, first of all, she didn't know it was pigeon. And it was freaking bleeding all over the place. (sighs) That is like salmonella central. I, I don't know how it ended up being a tie. But they pulled Jason's dish out of the bag as honorable mention, which put the men's team over the top. So, you know, because they were like, oh, if it had gone against any other dishes That's besides kind of a cheap Nilka's. Way to do it, but... Yeah, I didn't think that was cool, but whatever. So the blue team won again. And they won an afternoon at an English pub, oh. which was kind of fun looking. Uh, they each got a set of cookware, too, which was really nice. Mm-hmm. And the ladies had to clean the kitchens in hazmat suits. And, and then prep for the right. kitchens. Well, Siobhan. Miss Dominatrix was having a little reaction to the cleaner. I guess that's why she's so dirty. Because she can't clean. All right. (laughs) It wasn't cool. Yeah, she is allergic to a lot of stuff, isn't she? So it's family night. I hate family night. Uh, Probably smelled like diapers up in there. Ew. All right. So (laughs) just kidding. We're just talking about diapers the other day. All right. So it was on my mind. So it's a kid's menu, you know, fish sticks and pasta and Mm. all that other stuff that kids like to eat that's no good for them. So Salvatore lied to Ramsey about the risotto. If there's one thing you don't do in the kitchen, it is lie. That's right. It's better to not be able to cook than to lie. It's true. So Ramsey was really pissed about that, and rightly so, because you shouldn't lie in the kitchen. That's people's, you know, food. Yeah, you could kill someone. Exactly. Fran overcooked the scallops. I mean, come on, this is first service mistakes that people are making. Uh, Jason, he was one freaking chicken short. (laughs) And then he's, like, trying to cook it really fast and send it out when it's still not ready. He's, you know, he's sneaky like that. That's not cool. That's lying, which equals stealing. All right, so <laughs> Scott throws his team under the friggin' bus. He's like, yo, y'all can't cook. And then he Fs up the Wellingtons himself. Mm-hmm. That was so cheap. So Ramsey gets so, He's so pissed. pissed. He threw out the whole ladies' team and finished their service with the sous chefs. Obviously, the red team lost if they yeah. got thrown out of the friggin' kitchen. So, yeah, two nominees. So the nominees that they come up with were Scott, and Fran nominated herself. Well, she was just announcing it. She didn't pick herself. I thought she picked herself. No, you were asleep. Oh, everybody else picked her? (laughs) Yeah. Okay. But I guess uh, Ramsey added Siobhan as well. So Scott was going on and on, his smack talking about how he's worked in fine dining and all these other pigs have not. That so, just makes you look worse because you're just as bad as them. Or worse. And he started arguing with everybody. And finally, Ramsey's at his freaking breaking point. Mm-hmm. And, he th- and he's like, Scott, I can't take anymore. Get the F out. Yeah. Give me old jacket. So <laughs> he sends Benjamin. He's like, I'm not done yet. And sends Benjamin to the red team. Whoa. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a cluster. You better believe it. Next time, Ben freaks out. And it's a shocking conclusion. It always is. (laughs) I wouldn't have it any other way. Till next week, much Much love. love.